Today is Tuesday, so we got back from our holiday in the early hours of Sunday. And if you haven't been following me, I went to the Arctic Circle right up to the most northern points that you can travel by road in Europe, back down and back home. Um, but I'll save that for like another video, a coffee and a chat or something. Um, yesterday I started gradually changing the kiddos here, my reborn dolls in case you don't know, just clicked on this video. Um, so I just started changing them out of their Christmas stuff because we literally left Boxing Day, um, which is 26th of December, the day after Christmas. And um, so I chose to take Harry, well it was a joint decision between me and Russ to take Harry with us. And so I'm answering the question today, why did you take Harry? <laughs> so why did I choose Harry over all of the other ones I've got in my doll nursery? I originally, Russ, my husband, doesn't really like me taking the dolls out. Um, particularly not with him. doesn't mind if they stay in the van. Um, and we were going away for 17 days and there was absolutely no way I could travel without one of them because they really help with my um, PTSD and when my anxiety and my mind starts, when you have anxiety, your mind gets even worse and wanders and wanders and wanders and just goes, explodes everywhere. And so they really help keep me focused, keep me um, calm. Because if you ever pick up a baby and you start rocking them, you feel calm. Most women and men just will rock a baby like this. And that makes us feel calm. It makes the baby feel calm. It makes the adult feel calm too. So, um, so that was that's the main reason I had to take one with me. Now originally Ross said, oh you've got, you can just take a small doll and I was like, yeah, that's okay. And he meant one of my small like American Girl dolls or our generation dolls. Well, to be brutally honest with him, I am more likely to want to play with them outside than I am um, in a room, in a hotel room or in the van because they lend themselves to photo shoots much easier. So I could buy like sneeze ski kit and stuff like that easier and then I'd be taking photos outside. So he didn't like the sound of that idea, which you know, it's fair enough. This is, this is a compromising way we work this out. So I, the smallest baby that I had was um, Leo. Leo is newborn size and I didn't want to take Leo. Uh, Leo is a very precious baby and I don't really like taking him out that much because he's more of a, um, he's not a memorial baby because he doesn't look like anybody but I did um, lose, I didn't lose them, I miscarried four boys so Leo is part of that um, healing so I didn't really want to take Leo. Uh, Russ didn't want me to take, so I bought, at the last doll show I went, I bought Eli King, which is my coloured lad, and his hair is just out of this world. So I took him, because he's a prem size, it'd be nice to fit in a bag, easy, in easier to, you know, get into the hotel room without anybody seeing that kind of thing. Um... And yeah, I do worry, I do not worry, but I do consider what, how my husband feels about things and like he'll consider how I feel about things. So, you know, it is a bad compromise. And so when I said that I was taking Eli, I was starting to pack Eli's bag for it. He was like, oh, I said, well, didn't you realize I was taking Eli? I said, that's the whole reason I bought him. I said, but and I said, honestly, though, I don't really want to take him. Because I had the car accident as soon as I was driving home from that doll show and then was like a long road to recovery because I also had a frozen shoulder at the time, all this time before Christmas, these months before Christmas has been like me really trying to rest for our 17 day adventure. And um, and I was like, I just don't feel that bond with Eli. Um, 
and he was like, oh. I was like, but you know, I have to take one. Um, and I was like, what about Annie? Because Annie is the, the therapy doll of mine. She is the one that comes to counselling with me. She's the very first reborn that I got. And she's the one that I will always gear towards. And um, he was like, well, she is a bit big. And I said, yeah, I know she's a bit big. He's like, and it's not even just then he was like to me. It's not just the fact that she's a bit big. Well, she is a bit big, but it's the fact that we were travelling day by day. We caught the ferry over. We were day by day travelling in a hotel or we were hoping to do wild camping. And um, and he was like, so the van is really chocker, you know, because then I'd want Annie and I need all her kit. And Annie's the size of like nine to 12 month old clothes. So he was like, and I was like, and I really understood what he was saying. And I said, well, he said, who do you want to bring that other one? And I said, Harry. And this is Harry. And he was like, yeah, all right, bring Harry then. And Russ really likes Harry. Russ opened Harry. When Harry arrived, so I've had Harry for three years. When he arrived, he was a Christmas present from Russ. And he came from America and the artist Debbie said, can you just open the box to let me know he's arrived safely? And Russ was like, I'm not opening, you're not looking at it, it's not Christmas yet. And I was like, but I need to check him over. And he said, well, I'll check him over then. And so he opened the box and checked him over. And when Russ came back in the house to me, he had a huge grin on his face. And I went, is he lush? And he said, he is, you are going to love him. And Russ has never from that instant minded having Harry around. And Harry comes, if you notice, he comes on a lot of trips. This time last year, he was in Scotland with us. So he comes on a lot of trips. So that is the reason that, that they are the reasons that one, I take a doll with me and two, why I chose Ho um, Holly, why I chose Harry. So um, I hope that answered the question. So I've had that question like asked to me four times. So uh, I thought I'd better address it. And uh, there he is, Mr. Happy. Look, he's so happy. So what I'm going to do now is we've got him home. I haven't changed his bag yet. Um, I've been doing the household, not the household, but mine and Russ's washing from all our travelling. So I've um, been doing that. Plus I've got to make sure I rest in between and don't do too much. I've got all my Christmas presents I want to sort out that I need to sort out. Um, I want all of my, you know, I've got to change all of my Reborns into their normal attire. Um, and so I started doing those yesterday. So you'll see the end of the week, I think, how I got on with changing those. So now it's Harry's turn. I am going to change Harry out of his last outfit he had while we were away because it was got up to minus 19. Brr, brr, brr. Thank goodness we weren't there this week because this week it's expecting to get to minus 25, 30. So I'll get him out of this attire, get him into something more comfortable and I'm going to put him down for a nap. So anyway, I hope that answered your question. And Nicole, this is... For you, for theme of the week, Q. <laughs> we know we're a bit late with that one too. All right. Bye everyone.